there's a tip top top tip for you don't leave your bucket unattended when you're filling it up so you don't flood the workspace and annoy your son slash worker there's an issue on this um, someone's been out to measure up for the windows and doors and said um, we've done this wrong we need 90 if we're going to change this we need 90 so that's nearly 400 quid just in the squint bricks before labour and everything And hello, day two. Got the uh, mixer out ready. We're just waiting on this skip now, which is a uh, customer's got some nice like, timber set up so we don't damage the floor. And we brought some blocks for backing up those little pillars. So, just a case of get started, try and get finished without being too late. So, enough blabbering, let's get you set up. Well, the thing looks different than this morning, which is what we like to see. So, Dad has uh, been blitzing these, this brickwork. He's got 
that side up, he's just giving it a chariot joint now and he's got this side up to here so far and I've been backing it up with the block work the rest of it's going to be made up with a uh, timber or plaster, whatever, so that's up to the uh, plasterers but that's got the that's backed up there to give that a bit of support and I've just been going along as dad's been bricklaying to give that a bit of strength too but there you go, it's taking shape I'll take around this side so you can get a proper look at how it's going to be so it does look nice with that uh, pillar going all the way up I must say yeah, to keep it steady as well, he's put some packers up, so... Knock on wood. And obviously, skip progress is going good too. It's all just the loose crap now, and then uh, that should be done. Obviously have a good sweep up and a, have a, uh, a blowout with the blower. But yeah, so we're going to have our dinner now, and we'll catch you after then. And there we have it. That is the porch finished. And it was a very tough one, I must be honest. And that's, that's me talking, I didn't even do any of the bricks. Oh, sorry. I did. I did them. I did them three. <laughs> but they've been very difficult to work with because they just drink up the water. And once you put them down, they don't want to move anywhere else. But. He managed to do it, and obviously pillars have been blo uh, backed up with a bare, bare block. The rest of it will be made up by the plasterers, like I said, but there you have it. It definitely looks nicer than what it did, and having these little pillars does make it look a bit nicer, and obviously adds a bit of strength too, so there you have it. And good Thursday morning, Thursday 15th of September. And we can safely say in this video, a week tomorrow, a week today, we're going to Premier Inn, which will be the night before we fly off to Florida. 
for 17 nights because we'll be back by the time you see this video. Uh, yes, so we can't be telling everyone on social media that we're going on holiday for two weeks before we go. Anyway, we're back. As you're watching this, we're back. But anyway, we're back on the porch job, which is right, fresh battery. As I was saying, customer decided because of the, re the render, he wanted a <coughs> We wanted a brick pillar, brick and a half pillar going up here and two smaller windows which is probably a good idea because it makes this porch a bit more steady and it just he just wanted the break between the frames and the, the and the render so we're back to do this got the bricks got the blocks blocks are all going to be cut obviously so Alex's going to get all them cut and done we're just taking the plaster off um, these are engineering bricks and it's getting rendered so we're not going to bother with the um, with the cut in the in the wall, that's that's not going to cause any problems. Um, the yeah, I think that's it. Uh, yeah, we're going to get. Um, this is just going to be nailed in and running, and then we're going to put um, the uh, intermediate profiles up there, or I might just put a piece of timber up here and just run in, put the line up. So. Um, we will get set up. Alice just currently loading out, mix is ready to go. So we'll get cracking. Oh yeah, there's um there was an issue on this. Um someone's been out to measure up for the windows and doors and said um we've done this wrong. Said it should have had squint bricks going around the corner. Now you can't get standard squint bricks because the two angles are different. This was all looked into at the beginning. So they're on about getting cut and glued ones done. But the, the job was a rush job, it had to be done quickly, so we couldn't get the cut and bonded bricks done. And I think the four four pound fifty a piece, so you're talking two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, forty, six, and eight, twenty, two, four, six, three, eight, thirty, two, four, six, eight, four, fifty, four, six, eight, fifty. So we need ninety. If we're gonna change this we need ninety. So that's nearly four hundred quid just in the squint bricks before labour and everything. And that means taking all the halves out, toothing them all in. Whereas I did conservatories for 14 years and this is how it was done. It's a corner, it's a PVC corner post that matches the frame, which sits in there. We always set back 70 mil on the angle. So the frame sits in and it has a corner piece and it's made up like that. So we'll see what happens. But we're here to do the, uh, the pillars today because the render is coming next week. Alex, put them there, mate. That's it, top. So, we're catching a bit. So, we've had a little speed bump to start off with. The um, Titan, we were all out of 10 mil bits, because the last job we did recently, the um, big, the steels and the garage conversion, that big one, that et through, I think three, three 10 mil bits. I've already marked out the, where the Wooden profiles are going, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, just switch that off because I don't know if you've noticed, but every time Dad fills up a water bucket, he leaves it, and then um, you find out he's left it when you hear water pouring out of a bucket and flooding the bloody workspace. So there's a tip, top, top tip for you: don't leave your bucket unattended when you're filling it up, so you don't flood the workspace and annoy your son slash worker anyway customers very nicely we've got a little uh, kit here we've got the coffee got some biscuits i've already dug into them i've got my water and then so there's our little uh, little hub we've got our power so take you back around to the front right so as i said before i've marked up where the bricks and blocks will be going um, we're going to be putting tie wires on every course because it's only going to be brick and a half pillar so they're going in all of them and we're going to have I think four screw ties in total um, on each side maybe we'll see how it goes but we'll have our screw ties which are 10 mil plugs that's why we need the 10 mil bit all we've got now are eight bits eight mils so anyway mix mix is almost ready for for a spin I just need to bring the last of that water around and maybe get a bit of this swept up because we had to take up the plaster, which is always fun. 
but yeah that's the battle plan so hopefully dad's back soon and uh if he's not back by the time that mix is done i'll start cutting some halves because <laughs> there's all the halves we need all them need to be cut in half and speak of the devil there he is so in a few days you can probably start that mix and i'll get all that cutting done so catch you in a bit there we have it so we got we got three thank goodness so let's hope these last longer than the last one from our local heart in i'm in the shop team w garnet team w garnet if you didn't know that <laughs> yeah so fingers crossed these actually last more than a job about 30 picks to do So mix is almost ready and if you remember this mix has to be really wet because these bricks drink the hell out of that water. As soon as you set them down that's it you can't move them around you've got to be quick with these. Right brew time after a, bit, a lot of fiddling about we set up these are our pillars just a piece of batten a wedge and a nail so that's we just pull a line off that now rather than level plumb for a brick and a half with these bricks, that'd be a nightmare. So we just run them in. I think there's how many courses are? 18 courses. 18 courses. And Alex is on. Alex has cut all his blocks for the back, all the 330 mil pieces. So he's going to get on the back, and I can just hook a line in here and hook a line on the. Just run, just run them in. Top one, obviously, we have to get. It, we have to put in without a line, so all this gets taken out for the top top course. So it's taking a bit of extra time to get set up, but it's going to take. We're going to get it built twice as quick, which will help us in the long run. Alex is just trying to get our bit of social cup pencil back, which fell down that stupidly small cavity. I've just said goodbye. Alex is still having to go. So yeah, well, um, set you up after break. Right, it's been a complete faff, but we're going to save time now. It's all about preparation. So. This, this batten's all level and plumb. We've got a gauge marked on the brickwork. So I'm gonna just nail into this brickwork this side. And we've got the gauge marked up our, our batten. And to get the gauge, it's four to a foot. So it's every three inch rather than 75 mil. So it's slightly bigger beds. Works better with these bricks anyway. So um, that's me set up. Alex will be back from the toilet shortly and he's gonna set up on the block work. So um, let's crack on.
there we go pillar one complete so much easier that piece of timber there just whack it on whack the line up run them in so much quicker so much more accurate because these brick are hard to set and on a brick and a half pillar and there's Alex's handiwork backed up nice little fillet piece on the on the vaulted ceiling nice job that so yeah I'm set up here already this one's going to be a bit more awkward with the bay window being in the way and getting in and what have you but we'll, we'll sort it same again I'm going to stack the bricks here get a spot board here maybe put it a bit higher a couple of blocks on top of it I'm going to get up on the hop up well I'm going to get up to there before I need to hop up anyway so um, get into another good position and then we'll carry on And there we have it. Don't know what time it is because I don't want to look. We're going to be too late to catch the berries trade show this, this year. 10 to 4. No, it's not. Uh, 25 to 2. 25 to 2, yeah. We haven't got a chance. We've got to finish off, tidy up, and get to Leyland, which isn't happening. It closes at 3, so we missed it. Missed all the goodies and the freebies. So maybe next year. So I suppose work's more important when you're getting paid. So there you go. Pillar number two in. Alex is just backing it up. I'm going to start tidying up. Pillar number one is just ready for a brush off with a stiff brush. We always use a stiff brush. Um, yeah, all this to be tidied up. Good swill down, and we're out of here. We're taking our acros with us now because this has been this has been a, this is solid. So um, it's got back pillar now, supporting the two. 
Yeah. It's fixed to the wall anyway. Oh yeah, quick one. When I was knocking the plaster off here. Nice bit of diagonal wiring. Good in it. Why is the way it was? So if you were nailing someone there, you'd follow straight up the wire, wouldn't you? Well, no, this goes on an angle. Nice and dangerous. Right. Let's get cracking and get tidied up. There we have it. Part two that we weren't expecting finished. And uh, so it does look quite nice, I must admit. But there you go. So that is 18 courses each side. Tell you why is like every block course, and of course backed up with the block work with this little bit here just to get us up to the top. And there you go. You can actually see it without all the acros in now because we've taken back. Very nice, very tough brick, but they do make a nice finish, especially with that uh, right back here, uh, right back look. But there you have it. That's been another little, little nightmare. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed watching it, because if you did. So yeah. If you enjoyed watching be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel and you want to see more be sure to hit subscribe and click on that bell to be notified whenever we upload. It's always a great help for the channel and we greatly appreciate all the support. This has been Brickling with Steve and Alex. Port from hell. <laughs> see you in the next one.